Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Hello. Welcome to Faith Baptist. Welcome to another Daily Dose. My name is Luke Likens, and I'm honored that you joined me here this morning. Uh, I'm a father of five and a grandfather to two. Uh, and as my kids are, are growing and as they've grown up uh, through the years, uh, they've participated in a variety of uh, sports, uh, from baseball and softball to basketball and football to wrestling and, and lacrosse. Uh, and, and through the years, we've, we've come in contact with uh, several different coaches and, and definitely uh, different coaching styles. Uh, but one that sticks out to me uh, probably the most would be uh, my son Cole when he was in grade school played soccer in Lebanon uh, and he had this coach that had this catchphrase that he uh, was constantly uh, uh, saying and, and sometimes screaming uh, to the team as he would run up and down the sidelines uh, and that, that, that phrase was with purpose uh, he was constantly uh, hollering at the kids and, and, and telling them with purpose, uh, with purpose. And uh, at this age, uh, you had a, di- a variety of different uh, athletic ability. You had some kids that were, were all in. You know, they were there to, uh, to keep score and, and, uh, and score. And then you had some kids that were just kind of feeling the day or, or uh, just kind of having fun. Uh, maybe their parents made them. But... Uh, uh, the coach would, would constantly with purpose and, and sometimes throughout the earlier season and practice uh, some kids when the ball came to them they would just, just kind of randomly kick it you know they would when it would come to them and they would kick it and, and a lot of times in the right direction but really with no idea or, or purpose in what they were doing uh, and as, as the year progressed the coach would 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 would, would uh, would tell him with purpose, and, and he began to teach him uh, different plays and, and different uh, uh, skill sets, and uh, and he wanted each player to know, no matter where they were on the field, that if the ball came to them, or if they got the ball, what to do with it. You know that he wanted them to know that hey, if that ball comes to me, I'm I, where am I going to kick it, and who am I going to kick it to, and why. You know, and then and then if the if the if they got it, he wanted the next kid to know. Okay, if he gets it and kicks it to me, what am I going to do with it? And as the pro- season progressed, you could really you could really see the team kind of come together, and you could see that they were no longer just out there uh, passing the ball around, kicking the ball around. That that team had a purpose. You know, that team knew when they got the ball that they what they were going to do with it, and what the end result was going to be. They knew before they got the ball what they was going to do with it, and and they actually they became a very successful team through the year uh, because of this, uh, and uh, it this it reminds me of, of uh, really one of my it goes right in line with probably one of my favorite sayings in the Bible. Uh, if you go with me now to Daniel, First Daniel, uh, in First Daniel we start out with uh, King Nebuchadnezzar. And uh, Nebuchadnezzar is, is, is uh, he's taking over Jerusalem, okay? And, and uh, what he does is he, he's, uh, Nebuchadnezzar was known for he would go in and he would, he would, he would conquer, and he would take uh, possessions, and he would take prominent people, okay? And, and, and once he, he took that, he would take them back to Babylon, and, uh, and then he would, he would essentially leave what was left there and, and rule over it. But, but kind of leaving it the way it was. And he gained a lot of loyalty from those places uh, for that, for the, for the manner in which he did that. Uh, but uh, we'll go here in uh, Children 4, and we'll, or, I'm sorry, verse 4, and we'll kind of see the qualifications that uh, Nebuchadnezzar would have. And uh, verse 4, it starts out with, uh, Children in whom was no blemish, but well-favored and skillful in all wisdom. And cunning and knowledge, and understanding science, and such had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the learning of the tongue of the 
Chaldean. Uh, and the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank, so nourished them three years that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Uh, now, in these, now among these were the children of Judea, Daniel, Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So we, we see here that uh, three or four of the uh, young men that he took, uh, and, the, and from what I've read, the, these young men were between the ages of uh, 14 and 18. So they were kind of that, that high school uh, age, you know, which is a, which is a challenge uh, to me as a father on uh, what I need to be teaching and instilling in my children at a young age. You know, I think a lot oftentimes we, uh, certainly in our culture these days, we kind of feel like kids uh, should just be kids, and, and that's definitely true in some, some instances. But uh, these young men were spiritually strong enough at the age of, uh, of high school age to stand strong in their faith before a king. So uh, it was definitely uh, challenging to me as a, as a father on uh, where I need to be as far as instruction to my children uh, as, they, as they're growing and, uh, and uh, what they're capable of. I think oftentimes we don't give uh, kids credit for what they're capable of. Uh, and uh, here if we skip down to verse 8, uh, it's probably my favorite saying in the, in the Bible is, uh, but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Uh, therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. So before Daniel, Daniel knew some of what was coming. So before Daniel was faced with, uh, with these tasks or with these requests, Daniel purposed in his own heart. He, he had a game plan of his own. Uh, Daniel, Daniel sought out to, to know what he was going to do before uh, he was asked to do it. And I think, uh, I think as Christians, and certainly in these, these day, this day and age where uh, uh, there's such uncertainty and there, there's so many uh, seemingly uh, different things going on, and, and uh, uh, I think it's important that we not only... Uh, that we have a game plan for how we're going to conduct ourselves, uh, what's our game, certainly with children, and how we're, how we're going to uh, to conduct and raise our kids and what, what stance we're going to take. And, and, and as, as ourselves, you know, uh, we need to know what, uh, what kind of stand uh, we're going to take in, in different scenarios. I think it's very important that just like, uh, just like Cole's coach said, he, he, he didn't want these kids to just kind of be standing back idly and waiting for the ball to come to them and, and then react. He wanted them to have a plan of what they were going to do. And I think that uh, ties in very well with, with this. I think it's important that we know what stand we're going to take as Christians. I think it's important that, uh, that we know how we're going to react in different scenarios before we're we're faced with those, uh, and I've always I've always enjoyed this portion of scripture, and uh, I hope that could be uh, a blessing to you this morning as it is to me. Uh, and we'll we'll pray, and I, I hope you have a, a terrific day, Lord. Uh, thank you for today, Lord. I uh, pray that uh, through my my stuttering and uh, my rambling, Lord, that. Uh, your message was heard, Lord. I pray that as Christians, uh, we would stand strong, Lord. I pray that uh, we would have purpose, Lord. I pray that we would uh, uh, purpose in our hearts to serve you and bring honor to you, Lord, and uh, stand true to you, Lord. Uh, we love you so very much. Amen. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website, fitinatfaith.com, for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.